I'm going to read some poems by Giles Ruffer. They're from a chapbook of his called Charles Mingus, or I feel like this is how I'll always feel. Yeah, he has a number of these copies, so if you like want one of your own, you can talk to him and I'm sure he'll take care of it for you. <clears throat> I've got to tell you, I feel pretty incredible right now. Incredible. My room is glowing with the soft sunlight filtering through my white curtains. Soon I will open them and look at all the beautiful people that walk past my window. Sometimes when I'm walking down the street, I want to, high -fi I want to give high fives to everyone I pass and use the word beautiful three times in a sentence, and for them to agree with me and smile. But some people gain no pleasure from high fives or conversation, and you have to respect people's boundaries. I cannot imagine a future not feeling like this, and every second before that I have ever experienced is being re-experienced through this new emotion, filtered through the curtains of feeling incredible right now. A small ball of violent energy is inside my chest, there are so many things I want to achieve. I get a phone call and we talk from half, half eleven to half past midnight. We have a weirder relationship. She says, although maybe she didn't use the term relationship, but something else, softer. Perhaps I have turned a corner now, though. I feel positive. I feel powerful. I can see myself devoting more time to doing things that I want to do. It's strange how dinosaurs haven't evolved since Jurassic Park, she said. We both laughed at that. I want everyone to know how I feel, and I'm not ashamed about this. I always want everyone to know, always. I do not want to seem obscure or mysterious in my feelings. I want people to know how I feel, and I feel this is very human. People like to take pictures of themselves kissing a new partner on the lips. A close-up of both their cheeks, half their faces barely recognizable, because they want people to recognize that they are not alone, and they feel strong emotions for another human being, and this, and this behavior is very human. I want to post pictures of how I feel to all my friends. They all wake up one morning, and go downstairs to make breakfast in their dressing gown, and just as they reach the bottom of the stairs, they will see a collection of letters and takeaway menus. They will look through them, not expecting to see anything special, but then they will find a postcard from me with a picture of how I feel on the front, and then they will know. If, if, if I'm allowed to, I'd, I'd like to read a couple more. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm going to need Vicky's iPhone for this set. I got a couple on this. I'm, hmm. This is a poem called Effort. You really have to struggle for your health if you want it bad enough. But one day I ran out of shampoo and repeatedly thought this is a costly mistake in a hushed, regretful tone. The years of your life are like still water you need to boil before drinking. Don't expect anyone to deal with the undiluted thing of you. Yes, you are a lot like squash. Sitting at the beach, you notice there are large waves. You really have to do your best for them not to rob you from the shore and replace you with a squid that your friends get along with much better. Really, I'd like to see you make a concerted effort to appeal to people more than a slimy marine animal. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> yeah, you can clap if you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for another poem, but I can't find it. <laughs> wow, that's harsh. <laughs> This is, this is a poem by Vicky that I'm going to read. <laughs> it's called DTF Inside My Oven. 
in which the acronym DCF stands for down to fuck, if anyone did not know that. Oh jeez. I'm sorry, it's things complicated. This is a poem called DTF Inside My Oven. <clears throat> Today I am mostly getting on with things. I am washing my clothes, I am washing my dishes, and I am cleaning my oven. I keep thinking, don't be afraid to get into those corners, and scrubbing the corners of my oven. Today I received one text message regarding my day, but somehow took three hours to respond with, I lay in bed and ate pizza and clean my oven. I feel strangely invincible regarding having a clean oven. I feel like I want to shrink to the size of a teaspoon and dance inside my oven while listening to Skrillex. <laughs> inside my oven I am a goddess. I can dance to Skrillex for six hours and feel clean and small. Inside my oven I am down to fuck with anything that moves. There is nothing outside of my oven. When I am inside of my oven, I can sweat and dance and fuck and cry all at once. And nobody else will ever know. I feel like I want to text Jesus regarding my day and pray to him, saying, Please, Jesus, treat me to the size of a teaspoon so that I can just live inside my clean oven and dance and sweat and cry and fuck and be the best possible version of myself. Today I am DTF in an oven, and I am getting on with things. Thank you.